What you see right there, the Anak Krakatau volcano, giving quite a show on Sunday. This Indonesian volcano has erupted at least 44 times this week alone. How about that picture right there? Uh, Despite uh, being erupting that many times, George, uh, there haven't been any reports of uh, problems for airlines or, or tourists. Uh, but uh, this volcano erupted back in 1883, and that resulted in the death of 35,000 people. Much different situation there today. Absolutely. Just a pretty picture. Yeah. Dire situation in South Carolina for what was Hurricane Florence. The rain is gone, but runoff from the storm still swelling rivers. This is the scene in Conway. It's already reached in this river. Uh, more than 19 feet. That's nearly 6 meters. And it's likely to increase even more in the coming days. CNN's Nick Valencia has more from South Carolina. I think perhaps the best way to describe this situation here is it's a slow motion disaster. That's what Conway residents have told us that they feel like they're dealing with as this water just slowly but surely creeps into their homes. You may remember this community. It's the same community that President Trump visited earlier this week. It had flash flooding, of course, after Hurricane Florence made landfall. That flash flooding receded long enough for many of the residents to get their belongings and get out of here, but some did decide to stick it out, not heeding the warnings of local officials. They had been warning residents all week long that this was going to happen, and now the water is here. It's a result of the runoff from North Carolina, all those rains that were dumped on the uh, community there uh, by Hurricane Florence. Well, they have to drain somewhere, and they're coming through the Waccamaw River, which is bursting at the seams, causing situations like this. Perhaps the worst news of all is this is not technically a flood zone, so many here don't have flood insurance. They're going to have to deal with the rising waters for the days ahead. Nick Valencia, CNN, Conway, South Carolina. That scene there, the Waccamaw River, just really tells the story. Our meteorologist Karen McGinnis is here. What a mess, and you know, this rain will continue, I mean, the, the floods will continue for some time. Yes, they will. It looks like until the end of September, at least most rivers have crest. Some of the rivers have receded, but I want to show you the videos of what we're seeing in North Carolina and South Carolina. All right, this is a firefighter, and if you're wondering what it is that he is blowing off of the road, they are dead or dying fish. This road, which is a portion of Interstate 40, about 45-minute drive from Wilmington, North Carolina, uh, filled up with water, and these fish were trapped there, and as a result, they died in this area, and this is what they've had to do to clean up the interstate. Let's go to Longs, South Carolina, about an hour's drive to the northwest of Myrtle Beach. All right, they do have the Coast Guard Task Force, which is in place, and it is catastrophic in this region. All of that river shed area around the Petey River, the Waccamaw River in Horry County. And lots of people are going back to their homes trying to just salvage whatever it is they can, which includes their pets. Now, in Dallas, Texas, this has nothing to do with Florence, but yesterday there was a huge rain event. And these are neighborhoods that have been flooded around the Dallas-Fort Worth area, in particular the White Rock Creek. It set an all-time record high. It damaged homes. Uh, there were numerous high-water rescues across the area. And over the next uh, 24 hours, there's about a 50-50 chance of some more showers. And then to tell you about what's going on across the Pacific, here is Typhoon Trammy. Now, Trammy looks very impressive on our enhanced satellite imagery. It continues to move towards the west. It's moving fairly quickly quickly now, but gradually moving more towards the west, northwest, and increasing in intensity. And as it does, it is going to edge closer towards Taipei, or will it? The computer uh, graphics are suggesting that maybe it'll start to make a turn more towards the north and northwest, but it is going to be a much stronger system within the next 72 to 96 hours, so we'll carefully watch that. At least the folks in the Philippines, George and Natalie, are not going to have to worry about this one. This is moving well to the north of them now. Uh, thankfully so. Mm -hmm. They've been through enough. All right, Karen, thank you. Thank you. Rural leaders are